Hello guys, Chris here. Uh, in today's video, we're going to look at some more features of GarageBand. Um, great tool if you want to record just some um, simple instruments, you know, if you want to make your own songs, podcasting, anything like that. So um, today we're going to look at podcasting. Um, I've done a few podcasts with GarageBand. My only problem is that I don't keep doing them. Um, but using it's pretty simple and I like to record with it. So. We're going to take a look at it by opening GarageBand first and foremost. Uh, you're going to go to New Project. Um, you can really choose any of these, but obviously if you're going to make a podcast, this is your best bet because it's going to bring up your podcast uh, track, um, jingles, stuff like that, and I'll show you what I'm talking about. So we're going to select Podcast. Uh, name of your podcast, we'll just call it Chris's Podcast. Um, you can name it whatever you want. Um, I just name it to Desktop so I can find it there. Okay, so it opens up, um, and you have your media browser over here, um, your tracks and everything over here, uh, your podcast tracks, that's if you want to add um, markers, uh, artwork, you know, say you're talking about um, video games for part of your podcast, and then uh, another part you're talking about movies, so you can mark chapters and um, things like that. You can also go in if you double click on podcast track and change. The title, artist, composer, if it needs a parental advisory, if you're going to be swearing up all, all day, uh, probably choose explicit, um, and then you can do a description here. Um, but it gets you started here with uh, your different voice tracks. Um, if you're going to have, you know, if you have like a mixer going in and you have multiple tracks, you can use these. If it's going to be just your voice, um, you can delete one of these. That's what I normally do. So I just hit uh, Command Delete on that and get rid of it. So here's your male voice. You can look over, you have some vocal um, <clears throat> kind of filters that come up here. Um, normally, I guess, if you're going to do podcasting, it's probably not a bad idea to use the podcasting filters. Um, a lot of times I use either the narrator or the radio. Um, it's all personal preference and kind of what type of microphone you are using. Uh, again, I have the Blue Yeti, um, but I also have used the M-Audio Fast Track um, with just a basic mic. So um, whatever works for you. Um, it's kind of personal preference and kind of how your sound quality is going to be. Um, but these should get you taken care of on whatever level you're going to be using. So what you first want to look at is kind of what you're going to be doing um, in terms of if you're going to be putting music, sound effects, things like that into it. Um, it's probably easier to go ahead and record your, your podcast initially, get the vocal part done. And then come back in and you can edit um, music, sound, any things like that that you want to uh, add into it. So let's just say I was going to record a podcast. Um, if you've watched my other video about how to record a voice track, you'll kind of know what I'm doing. But I'll do a quick review of that. Um, once your microphone or audio system is plugged in, um, again, the, the Yeti that I have is going straight to USB. You're going to Preferences, Audio, MIDI, and you're going to change your input to whatever your microphone is that you're using. And then your output um, can be whether if you have headphones plugged in to your microphone, you can use that. Or if you just want your speakers, headphones, that's fine. Um, I recommend you do a little voice test and make sure that your green bars are not clipping. If you, if you talk real loud, you'll see these turn red. That means you're clipping and you're going to get like some uh, not so good audio. So if that happens, turn your mic down a little bit. Make sure you're kind of staying within, within reason and you're not shooting up here because... Say you want to exclaim something and your voice gets loud, you're going to shoot up here. So you kind of want to test your voice, kind of go into different ranges, make sure that you're going to be good. You're not going to be too low, but if you talk loud, you're not going to be too high. So just something to keep in mind so you're not doing it, and then you find out that half of it sounds crappy because of audio. Um, so you want to go ahead and record your audio. Um, we'll just, as I'm talking here, do some recording here. Um, so you'll see it's recording my voice right now. Um, so say I'm talking, doing my podcast, all that good stuff, and then I'm done. Um, so I have my initial track of, of talking, my podcast, but I want to add an intro song to it. Um, so what you can do is if you uh, double-click, not in here, but if you go to Control um, Loop Browser, or your show Loop Browser, uh, you can see in here you have jingles, which are kind of like intro musics, music, segue music, um, stingers, which are kind of like sound effects, can I say it that, um, more specific sound effects, chimpanzee calls, you can never have enough of those, right? 
but they haven't broken them into different um, categories. So jingles are going to be like your music, um, maybe an intro, a segue between segments. They have different lengths here. So say you want your intro um, to be, you know, 20 second intro, you can click on this, bring it in, and then you put your podcast, your start, your vocal kind of in. Normally, um, it's supposed to try and kind of automatically fade down your voice over um, the audio. I don't really see that working very well whenever I try and do it. So if you click on this little button here, it'll bring up the track volume. And then you can actually manually lower um, the music track down if you need to. So if you're going to start talking over top of it and you want to, you can just hit delete to move these buttons. Um, and you want to kind of have it fade down under your voice, you just bring these down and you just fade it down to where you want it to kind of be quiet at. So you'll kind of see, try not to be too loud here. Hear it kind of fade down. Um, and you can do that at any point and then, you know, say you put one in the wrong spot, just click it, you'll see it kind of get a little bigger, just hit delete and get rid of it. Um, that's just personal preference if you're gonna kind of fade in over the music track and you want your voice to kind of not be overpowered by the music and not have it kind of jump up and down of it being loud, being quiet, loud, quiet. Uh, it's a good way to use it. So um, use the use that uh, track volume parameters uh, when doing that. So um, same thing if you're going to add in a, you know, a stinger or a, a sound effect here. Um, you just click and drag it. You can make a new track. Um, they can start talking. So you'll see it's recording you'll hear it go over everything. So again with that, um, you can lower it just manually like that. Um, or bring up your, your uh, track volume and do it uh, specifically in different little locations. So that's pretty much um, doing your basic track work here. So you'll have your jingles. If you want one at the beginning is your intro. Um, you can do your uh, your talking, and then if you don't put any sound effects as well. Um, a lot of times when I'm at the end of my podcast, uh, I'll bring in another uh, kind of music track and kind of have it fade up about you know, 10, 15 seconds um, before my speaking ends so you kind of hear it fade up uh, as I'm talking and then when I'm done it fades up to full and kind of then fades out to the end of the podcast so um, that's all personal preference but it's just kind of something to add to it give your uh, listeners a little bit more um, than just your your voice um, so now you're done with your podcast um, if you want to add uh, track or uh, artwork into this um, you can do that by just dragging it here um, if you want to set um, you know, add a marker, set as a chapter, you just do that, you know, that can be whatever your chapter is, let's just say music, um, it's out here, if you have a link, you can actually link it up there, drag your artwork there, um, let's bring over here, and let's just say you want to add a new marker, um, you can do that by adding marker, and that adds a new one, so you can actually go through it and make, um, segments within your, um, your podcast. So if you're talking, you know, a segment about music, segment about gaming, uh, movies, whatever, you can break it into little parts and then you can have separate artwork, URLs. You know, if you're talking about a movie, you can have a link to the trailer. Um, you can then go in and display, you know, the, the artwork or whatever you want to do with that. Um, if it's, once it's plugged in. So let me just see if I can pull up a picture here. Uh, let's just say my face. Pretty awesome, right? Um, add it to artwork, and then you can display it as artwork. If you type in a URL, www.com, type in your URL, you can display um, the URL. Well, that's the title, but URL will go here. Obviously, and it's hard to spell sometimes. But do that, and then you have your... You can display URL, take it off, display artwork, you can do it. So you'll see it all come up here, and then when you're playing um, in your podcast, it'll actually show up as part of your podcast, so it's kind of cool. Um, but that's something, too, you want to take into account as you're doing your podcast is if you're going to just stay as one kind of continuous speaking thing or if you're going to do and you're going to talk and then you're going to segue into movies if you want to put a uh, jingle segueing those two and then you're gonna have a new chapter you know it's all kind of personal preference but it does help organize the the podcast a little bit um this probably looks like a mess right now but if you followed along you kind of have an idea of what i'm doing so podcast is recorded all your um music jingles 
sound effects, uh, chapters, all that stuff's in. Um, and then if you want to export it, you can send the podcast to iTunes. Um, I don't think really anybody uses the iWeb anymore. I could be wrong. Um, you can send it right to iTunes or you can export it to disk, which is basically to the hard drive. Um, if it's a podcast, again, you want to probably do spoken podcasts. It'll lower if you'll see if um, right here it's at the estimated size is 0.5. Say I change this up to a higher quality, it's going to change up to 1.6. If you get a long podcast, get a lot of audio and stuff in there, you're going to see why just doing a spoken podcast really helps because it lowers the uh, size a bit. Um, the AAC encoder will actually make it bigger as well compared to MP3, so just something. Um, but if you are using AAC, that's when you can get your, uh, your artwork, all the good stuff. So you're going to export it. It's going to ask where you want to export it to. Um, we'll just say desktop. Now, if you do to iTunes, it's just going to put it in your iTunes folder, put it so you can listen to I, I into, in iTunes, excuse me. It's all kind of personal preference of where you want to do it, but let's just do it to, um, let's just do it to my desktop here so you can see. So we'll save it. It's going to create a mix down, um, make sure all the sound, put in all these chapters, all that stuff in here. And then when it's done, you have your file. Minimize this right here ready to be uploaded to whatever podcast uh, website or whatever you're going to use to upload your podcast. So um, let's see if there's any other little tips here as you're going along. Um, say you have some kind of dead air or something that should be in your podcast. You can trim that by just clicking on it. You'll see it turned dark purple. If you hit command T, that's going to break it up. So then say this is all dead air and you just want it right here. You can just X out of it, or not X, just delete it. Um, you can also pull things tighter. Um, say you delete something, you can actually go longer. Um, let's see what else. There are some tools in here. Um, to get more precise, you know, say you just wanted to get it really kind of that little part right here, you can use this to zoom in. So you can zoom in, but then you can also. Um, Instead of it snapping from grid to grid, you can take off snap to grid, and then you can do really precise editing if you need to to get right into the little spots. Um, that's all, you know, up to you. Um, so really, that's all there is to it to get a, a decent podcast going. Um, obviously, the most important thing is your material and staying consistent, and that's my biggest problem is staying consistent with making podcasts. So hopefully I get to do that um, sometime down the road, but uh, right now, uh, enjoy just at least helping those who can do it on the norm, uh, showing them how to do it. So uh, if you have any questions, obviously leave some comments below. I'll try and respond as quickly as possible. And uh, if, if this helped you out or you just enjoy the videos, go ahead and subscribe. I appreciate it, but obviously you don't have to. I just appreciate you stopping by, and uh, hopefully I help you um, with whatever your needs are. So um, thanks for watching, and until next time, uh, have, a, have a great day.